some young broke dude. Simple. Those who can't read the manga are brainlets. If you require yourself to have an audio and moving images to stimulate and get entertained, you have a mental attentiveness of a troglodyte. Artificially extended adolescence has created a suicidal nihilistic sarcasm masquerading as self-deprecating suicidal deconstructionism. Uh, syllables. Imagine thinking communism is a good idea in 2019. Also, you do realize that you can be one of those rich assholes, right? Nobody is stopping you if you live in the US. Most millionaires and billionaires around today are self-made. The uncomfortable truth is most people are too fucking stupid and inept. They can barely manage to hold down a job flipping burgers, let alone figure out how to gain significant wealth. So they just cry and stomp their feet like the underdeveloped children they are, begging big daddy government to take the smart, successful people's money and give it to them instead. Fucking pathetic. Wow, tell us more about how great you are. Me, with my fine arts degree, this is a wonderful visualization of the moment of impact between a golf ball and a club. The sharp lines and bright colors representing the piercing audio of the action is a bold and brilliant design choice, and the almost chaotic line work does a nice job of representing the nearly random trajectory of the golf ball right after this moment. Everyone else, I have no idea what you're talking about. I just think it looks pretty. The boss boring and shouty. I'm here reading the financial news whilst grown men are shouting at a football match. Okay, my phone is now on 1%, so night night. I know some people have higher IQ than me, but at the age of 13 and having an IQ of 150, I don't think it's that easy to find someone smarter than me that's around my age or even older than me, as well as I only call idiots people who are dumber than me. Plus, I'm not famous because I keep the fact that I have such a high IQ and even told my friend not to tell people. Plus, the fact that I don't want to be famous. I'm not being a bitch, I just don't want to deal with irritating idiots. Oh, I watch documentaries, but I tend not to trust them. Directors who set out to make narrative films end up adding truths to them by accident. Directors who set out to make documentaries find themselves having to contrive scenes on purpose. I will always prefer the accidental truth to the contrivances of the documentary director. You honestly think this shit is funny? Are you an idiot? This is the lowest common denominator of humor, and I feel bad for your single digit IQ. I've studied humor for many years at university, and read several books by the comedic greats such as Rowan Atkinson, Charlie Chaplin, Stephen Colbert, and Robin Williams. Do you know who any of these people are? Probably just one or two, but that's no surprise to someone as low on the intelligence scale as you. Tell me, do common household gnats make fun of you? Do you find yourself stumped while talking to pond scum? Get the fuck off of this app and go do some research as to what makes it funny. I'd suggest you start with the Three Stooges, but even those jokes might be over your head. I have to go now. The utter hopelessness of your situation is honestly just making me sad. Me as a child, I like being the banker to Monopoly so I can cheat. Me as an adult, I like being a VC so I can invest in founders with unfair advantages. Me as a child, mathematically the best strategy is to buy all the property you land on but to mortgage everything orange plus, then trade to get monopolies on the orange properties, and if you do this, you'll always win. Me as VC, same. John Wick films, it's good action, but the writing is something that a 12 year old would think is cool. Or like a low IQ person who gets into law enforcement or security jobs and likes violence and thinks honor among killers is a thing. Edit. Also interstellar. It's okay, but people hail it as this masterpiece of flawlessness. It's not. Eh, <laughs> the things he did were amazing for his time, but there's a small chance he'd be dedicated enough to specialize his entire life for one field like that, which you truly need for those modern jobs. What we like most about Da Vinci is he did a little of everything, which was viable for his station in life and time period, but you can't just dabble in modern engineer. He'd likely be the equivalent today of a dad who fixes his own lawnmower, plays guitar with his kids, and reads about astronomy in his free time. You know you're a nerd when you spent the afternoon watching the History Channel and researching Freud. <laughs> 
The good God, is anyone else out there currently thrown into the bowels of white supremacist patriarchal institutional system failure with a necessity to advocate for egalitarianism on high throttle right now, like me? And being met with hierarchical resistance? With very little support, I am trying to remain strong. Shit is getting real. Seriously trying to calm very high anxiety. Please send me your fiercest light. Imagine if one day we unlock the other 98% of milk. We already have. It's called whole milk. It's really dangerous, though, as it can lead to the spread of multiple violent tumors throughout your body immediately. Did that sound stupid? Sorry, was just working with the level of intellect this tweet gave off. Conductive ink is so awesome to use. This one has done very well. It looks somewhat fake, though, with LEDs fading in and lighting up despite being shorted, but it may be real since conductive ink has high resistance and it decreases when drying. Don't you think the word awesome has lost its impact slash meaning? Due to the constant use for millennials on social media, someone could even call, I don't know, Minecraft awesome? Only use the word awesome when something is actually really good. If you don't know what it means, I'm not going to bother explaining it, so please search it in a dictionary. Unlike a lot of other world's problems, for example poverty or global warming, we at least have control over the degradation of the English language. I try to help this cause by teaching cheap English lessons over the internet. Please direct message me so we can talk about the price, if you decide to. That moment when you want to share this masterpiece with a friend you know will be able to appreciate the depth and meaningfulness of this and realize you don't have such friends around. Now that I've been educated, not a musician here, just an illustrator, I can't enjoy any violin performance on TV because most of them suck. But then again, I always nitpicking on ads or every little thing that had to do with graphic design. I blame myself for having knowledge. Hello, I'm looking for friends. I'm in science completely, so apparently in our conversations, word science will sound mostly, but I wish it will not. I will not explain to you obvious things like about on this planet live 7 billion dim tooted dummies. I want a person which is same with me, so if you are, message me definitely. This is hilarious, thanks for the laugh. If you find that humorous, it just indicates that you have a most juvenile sense of the intelligence. It is pathetic that such childish activities can entertain one whose mind is so underdeveloped, unlike mine. I think you have much growing up to do, although I fear that even once upon you do so, you will still be just as immature and dumb as is the currency of the situation of your Brian right now. It is the shame of the century, the darkness that glimmers as the light fades away into the snow. Sorry, sometimes I let my extensive creative writing skills bleed into my criticisms. My point being, develop your IQ so that you may find entertainment in more mature matters than this. My mental animations have more silvery arcing and what would appear as the center would have a globular pulsing appearance like a fish eye bulging and retracting, mirroring as it peaks and darkening from the appearance of quicksilver to coal as it recedes. I imagine approaching a black hole, visually inducing simultaneously feelings of jumping off a cliff, being lifted suddenly weightless in a high amusement park ride, swirling down a drain, spiraling up a ladder, a baby exiting a vaginal canal, and a tumble throwing an industrial dryer, all while sinking slowly in quicksand and rising as clay from a potter's wheel. A cataclysmic kaleidoscope of dimensions, of perspectives organized to magnetic proportions, repel and attract all and none. Hey, it's an emoji, who cares? Majority of people. Sad. If you can't articulate your words without an emoji, you should probably revisit 6th grade English class or where you taught emojis. And I don't care about your stupid fucking feelings about today and get with the times kind of shit. And you're probably gonna say something sophomoric, so go ahead, Padawan. Dogs hate fireworks. Um, no, it's just that they stress. They don't hate them since they don't know what it is, which means they can't hate them. Logic. You all think it's funny to reinforce the socio-normativity implying that Plato-normative society is funny while oppressing marginalized platonic-oriented people such as aplatonics. This is a form of aphobic allonormativity, strict as subtlicism and veraphobic said sexism. Bitch, what language is this? I bullshitted 3,700 words creating an entire company's extranet, not giving a shit it was worth 300 points. Got a 300 out of 300 and my professor told me it was genius. Okay lady, whatever you say. I mean, I guess having this high IQ even makes my bullshit genius. Ah oh, well, I'll take it. 
I don't know about that. Language is fluid, yes, but they'll go farther in this world communicating effectively and eloquently, rather than with the grammatical skill associated with the lower caste of humanity, often associated with an uneducated population. Stupid me thought I could be with someone who has a much lower intelligence level than I? Well, time to hang out at medical campuses. One more thing, you will never win a forensic discussion with me. I am a linguist with a very high education level. When I comment, it's with purpose and integrity. There's no feelings, it's only fact-based. Thus, my record of zero losses in forensic debates. Today, my teacher told me that despite being in seventh grade, I could read at a college level. I didn't need her to tell me that since my IQ is so high and everyone kind of knew. Oh my god, I have all the signs in this video. No wonder the people at my work think I'm crazy. It's because they're all dumber than me. It's so lonely being the smartest person where you work. Damn me for being blessed and cursed with superior intelligence. I hard physics, mastered relativity and quantum theory when I was 11 and finished astrophysics when I was 12. Now I'm not even 19 and I place theories on the universe. <laughs>